I've had dozens of people ask me how they can improve their gameplay, and nearly every single one has had the same thing in common. They either can't or don't quick peek. Quick peeking comes in many forms and it's super easy to do too. The hard part is figuring out what a good quick peek looks like, how to replicate it, and then when to do it. Learning how to quick peek isn't enough, you have to learn how to use it too. If you quick peek every angle you'll just get shot on the side and it's not going to be as effective as if you learn how to use it. There are four main types of quick peeks, and there are slightly varied forms of each that you'll see in montages meant to look cool. So the first thing I'll preface this by saying is that a lot of YouTubers and montage creators in general will do things that look good rather than things that are efficient because they want it to look good for a video. They want to get clicks, they want to get views. What we're focusing on is actual, efficient, proper quick peeks. That's not to say that these other quick peeks don't have their own merits, but they're either more difficult or unnecessary movements that just make it harder to do while looking marginally better to the viewer. So your four main types are going to be the straight peak, the shoulder peak, the jiggle peak, and the shiko lean or shiko peak. While they're all different in the movement you need to make, each one of these are pretty much as effective as the others. According to a Reddit post that I'll link in the description, shiko peaking is the fastest peak by about 50 to 60 milliseconds compared to the rest of the options. Basically, in a LAN environment with zero ping and 60 ticks per second, shiko leaning is only about 20% faster than all the other quick peaks. When you consider that this type of leaning is the most difficult, plus other factors like ping difference and server degradation, that advantage disappears almost completely. You'll also notice that in Pro League, Shiko doesn't actually use this quick peek because again, there are no advantages other than it looking a little bit cooler. This is one of those quick peeks that I mentioned earlier that are more about form rather than function, but I figured I would include it since it is so prevalent. A lot of people wonder how to Shiko lean, so I figured I would teach it while also explaining that it's not necessary to learn and you would be better off just spending your time improving something else in your gameplay. With that being said, let's get into the first and most important part about quick peeking, understanding why we use quick peeks. So quick peeks can be used for two main functions. One is for gathering intel. A lot of the time, if you're quick peeking properly, you're going to be peeking too fast to have time to see your enemy, react to him, flick, and then shoot. So instead, the first quick peek or the first few quick peeks should actually be these sort of cursory looks into a room. Rather than walking into a room blind, you want to be quick peeking this so that you can gain intel, see if the room is clear, possibly even bait out an enemy shot, then allowing you to have the advantage of being able to take the gunfight on your own terms. And it is something that roamers and attackers need to use a lot. Obviously you can't drone out or have intel at every single angle, so quick peeking a room before you enter it is just a really good way to gather intel and make sure you don't get your face shot off right away. The second use for quick peek is to initiate a gunfight. So if you know someone's already there, you don't want to potentially just swing into their crosshairs. Instead you want a quick peek. This can help bait out shots as I mentioned previously. And it could also just throw your enemy off. A lot of people will panic if they get peeked, so being able to quick peek effectively allows you to take the gunfight on your own terms, rather than swinging and allowing the opponent to start the gunfight. With all that being said, let's get into the actual types of quick peeks and how you can do them. First we have the straight peek. This is the least mechanically intensive and also technically the slowest quick peek, Although, as I mentioned previously, none of these are inherently worse than the others because of Siege's low tick rates compared to other modern first-person shooters and ping differences making it unlikely that it's going to make a difference in the long run. This peak doesn't require a lot of finger dexterity, it's more about if you can move accurately. By this I mean controlling your strafes. So what you're going to be doing is, say you're peeking to the left. You're going to start lean to the left. You're going to peek out just enough by just strafing to the left to see your opponents or whatever angle you'll be looking at, and then peek back to the right. This needs to be quick and controlled, and if you're peeking on the right side, you would start lean to the right, strafe right, and then strafe left as soon as you peek the angle you want to peek. You need to make sure that you're leaned in the direction you're moving, because this will ensure that your head is the only thing showing, giving the enemies a much smaller target to shoot at, and also helps you to make sure that you're seeing exactly what you want to see as fast as possible. On controller, this is a really easy peek to do, just because you have really good analog control of your movement. On keyboard and mouse, this is a little bit harder, just because you have to be really aware of how much pressure you're putting on the A and D keys, or whatever your movement keys might be. So with a little bit of practice, you can get this down really easily. The second type of quick peeking is building off of this straight peek. This is called the shoulder peek. It's the same exact idea. As a straight peak, you're just going to be incorporating leaning and lean canceling as you move in and move out of the peak. So from the left side, you're going to start not leaning. You're going to strafe and lean at the same time. 
And then as you move away, you're going to press that same lean button. So you're actually going to cancel the lean. On PC, you would press AQ and QD from the left side. On the right side, it would be ED, EA. As your character is moving physically, strafing from left to right or right to left, your head's also going to be swinging from the central unlean position to the lean position, meaning it's going to be a far harder target to hit because your enemies now have to deal with sort of two layers of movement of both your body and your head at the same time. And as you lean cancel, this effectively snaps your head back to the center of your body, which should already be behind cover if you're quick peeking properly. This means only your head is showing for the smallest fraction of a second at a super high velocity, meaning enemies are going to have a super hard time shooting you. And with that being said, let's move on to the third type of quick peeking. This is the jiggle peek. This is probably the most iconic peek Siege has to offer since bolo peeking was taken out of the game. On PC, this is incredibly easy because you can just press QA and ED with your ring and pointer fingers respectively and just sort of wiggle back and forth with those two fingers. This makes jiggle peeking super easy. Again, your head is in constant motion, your body's in constant motion. On controller, the principle is pretty much exactly the same. You just want to make sure you're strafing and leaning at the same time. Finally, we have the shiko lean or shiko peak, which is probably one of the most talked about since the bolo peak. Basically, with a shiko peak, you're going to start leaning in the direction you want to peek in. As you strafe out towards that angle, you want to lean the other way and then lean back to your initial direction as you strafe away. You can think of this as kind of a combination between shoulder peeking and jiggle peeking, except instead of lean canceling, you're actually going to go all the way to the other side. The goal of this is to make your head just kind of flash on screen super fast and then disappear again. I personally don't like the shikling that much. I can do it. I've practiced it just for finger dexterity. But the benefit you get is really just outweighed by the amount of time it takes to perfect the shikling. And also ping differences make it a nightmare to learn because even if you do it perfectly, you're going to be getting smoked by someone with 100 ping anyways. So there's really no point. Now, I'm not going to discourage you completely if you want to learn it. By all means, go ahead. It definitely looks cool if you want to make a montage. But if you're trying to learn how to quick peek to win gunfights, just know that even in Pro League, Shiko will not Shiko lean just because it is not as efficient as it should be. Playing Siege at a high level is all about making efficient movements and winning gunfights and Shiko lean doesn't really help that. So for those who really want to know, the key presses are going to be from the left, you're going to start leaned to the left. You're going to press AEQD. So you'll start lean to the left. Midway through the peak, you're going to lean to the right, and then as you fade away, you're going to be leaning back to the left. And then it's obviously inverted on the right side. And that's it for all the quick peaks. Those are the four main types of quick peaks. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, because only a super small percentage of you guys are subscribed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.